Welcome to the OK Grants online grant management system training video series. This series is specific to grants and applications administered by the Oklahoma Department of Commerce and should not be referred to for applications of other agencies or entities. The OK Grants online grant management system can be accessed through any current web browser. If you can watch this video, you can work within OK Grants. To begin, navigate to the OK Grants login screen. Go to grants.ok.gov. It may be helpful to bookmark this site. To access OK Grants, you need a username and password. This information will have been provided by your agency administrator or an automated email from admin at okosf.ok.gov. Use this screen to log in and reach the home screen. If you forget your password or username, use the links on the login screen to recover them. This video is a walkthrough of the expenditure report workflow in the OK Grants online grant management system and will demonstrate the process of reporting expenditures for an executed contract in OK Grants. Expenditure reports can be created and completed by users with the role of writer, authorized official, or financial officer. However, only authorized official and financial officers are able to submit expenditure reports. You can confirm your role on this screen in the welcome box. To begin, click Open Task box on the home screen. If you are logged in with the role of authorized official or financial officer, you may see an expenditure report in process previously built by a writer for your organization. If this is the case, click the expenditure report name and follow along as we go through the first few steps. The task box may contain a few items. Look for your executed contract. If you cannot find your contract in the task box, it may not be in executed status. If this is the case, contact your grant administrator or liaison at the Department of Commerce. Find and click on the document name of the executed contract. This takes you to the ODOC application screen. You are now working within the application and can create the expenditure report. Click the Examine Related Items button toward the bottom of the screen. This takes you to the Related Items page. Depending on how much prior activity has occurred with this project, you may see other documents in this list. Since you are creating the new report, click the link Initiate an ODOC Expenditure Report. On the Agreement screen, simply click I Agree. You are now on the ODOC Expenditure Report menu which looks similar to the ODOC application menu. Once here, notice the document name near the top of the screen. This is the name of the report you created. It can now be found among the related items you saw earlier so that you can return to it later if needed. If you are an authorized official or financial officer and someone already created the report on your behalf, this is where you rejoin us. To complete the expenditure report, you must access the expenditure report form. To do so, click on the View, Edit, and Complete Forms button. This takes you to the Forms menu. Look for the Expenditure Report form and access the form by clicking the link. This takes you into the Expenditure Report form. This form is fairly simple. First, click the appropriate radio button to indicate whether this is a monthly, revised, or final report. Choose Revised only if you are reporting a revision over a month's expenses that have already been submitted to ODOC. Choose Final only if your project is complete and you do not intend to report any further expenses. Then select the month and year of your report. Any expenses you are reporting should be dated within this month on your organization's books. Next, complete the interest slash cash received and cash expedited fields in accordance with your general ledger. Multiple rows permit you to report expenses from various budgeted line items. In accordance with your organization's general ledger and the received invoices and prepared purchase orders, input your expended amounts by line item. If you don't see year-to-date totals populated at this stage, don't worry. They should calculate once you save the page a bit later, along with the totals. There is also an available text field for explanations or breakdowns. Depending on the nature of your project, it may be necessary to use the fields to record invoices, progress, or other details related to the expenses. Check your program guidance for more. Once the page is completed, record your work with the Save button at the top right of the screen. Saving the page will cause a message to appear at the top of the screen. A red light indicates what you need to revise or complete. A green light indicates that the page has been successfully completed and that you are finished with this page. Depending on the nature of your project, you may be required to upload relevant supporting documents. This can be done with the Uploads form accessed by the Uploads link near the bottom of the screen. This screen provides several lines to describe and upload relevant documents. For example, you can attach a purchase order. Adding a brief description will make it easier to find later. The Choose File button allows you to browse your computer for the relevant document. 
Once the document is selected, the line updates to reflect the file name. When you have uploaded all required supporting documentation, click the Save button at the top right to save your work. A green light tells you the page is saved. At this point, your expenditure report has been successfully prepared. The last step is to submit the report to the Department of Commerce. Look near the top of the screen under Document Information for the name of the report you created. Your report name is a link that takes you back to the ODOC Expenditure Report menu. The report is currently in the in-process status. You must change it to the submitted status. To do this, look for the View Status Options button. If you are logged in as an authorized official or financial officer, you will find options to cancel or submit the report. Writers cannot submit expenses and will not see this option. To submit the report, click the Submit link. Once the report is submitted, you will arrive back at the ODOC Expenditure Report menu. There you will see the status has changed to Expenditure Report Submitted. The report is now completed and awaiting processing at the Department of Commerce. You should receive an email confirmation. Congratulations, you created, completed, and submitted an expenditure report through the OK Grant system. If you encounter issues or have further questions about the process or your contract, contact your Department of Commerce liaison for assistance. For walkthroughs of OK Grant's tasks and processes, troubleshooting assistance, FAQs, and other resources, please visit the OK Grants resource page at okcommerce.gov slash okgrants. Good luck with your projects, and thanks for watching.